Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's have some fun with color and bugs today. I'm starting out with NYX Tame and Frame Brow Gel in blonde. I'm just using my regular brow routine right now because I didn't have an actual direction on where I was going with this. I'm using this Makeup Geek shadow called Bitten. After I mark out where I want to lay the shape of the eye, I'm going to just lay that down. I'm going to take this black color from the Take Me Back to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette and just put the black color closest to where the blank spot is in the eye and just blend that all together. I'm going to take the color Simply Marlena here from Makeup Geek and just pat it on there around that harsh edge of the darker burgundy color and then just kind of blend them together. And of course I forgot to record this part, but I took the red shade from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I just kind of smoked out the under under eye area. And here I'm just taking a toothbrush that I use for painting and taking some white water activated paint and just brushing that through my brow. And this is Beachberry from Mayron, a water activated paint that I'm just lining my brow with. This is just a flat brush with some concealer on it, using the brush as a guide to help me get that shape. And I'm just taking this big brush here to get the big areas, and then I'm gonna move on to the small, more precise brush and get that line more defined. I'm taking these two purple shades and taking the darker of those two purple shades on the most outer edge of this concealer part we did and then blending into a more lighter purple shade towards the center. This is Max Reflex Glitter in Berry Pink and I'm just patting that on in the center. Just taking some eyelash glue and some chunky craft store glitter and I'm just dotting that on there. If you're wondering what this tool is, it's called a pick-me-up. It has like a little rubber tip that kind of grabs onto gems and jewels and glitter really well. Then I'm just taking that reflex pink again and just with my finger, just tapping it over that. Using my liquid liner, e.l.f. black liquid liner. It's like $2 at the drugstore. It's one of my favorite liners and just lining the lid, not winging it out or anything, just lining the lash line. This is one of those SFX sponges and I just have some light purple water activated body paint and just stamping it on the eye areas that I see fit. So over the glitter, a little bit under the eye and over by the brow bone. I'm just tapping on some NYX's glitter called Crystal just to give it some more like holographic, a little bit more dimension there. Like I said, I didn't really know what direction I was going. I was just kind of <laughs> going with the flow, wanted to use purples and reds and so, oh, tap, tap, right on the lips, might as well. 
a little bit under the eye here. Just, uh, just going with the flow, seeing what I think looks good. And of course, it's a lot. Nice and wearable. Makeup Geek's Caitlin Rose, and I'm just putting it on the lower lash line beside that NYX's Crystal Glitter here. Here's my Habibi Lash in Drama Queen. And this is the exact moment I realized that I grabbed the wrong lash and put glue on the wrong lash. So I decided to just, you know, put my left eyelash onto my right eye and see how it works. I'm taking my airbrush and Mayron's Liquid White makeup along with this badass stencil. I used tape to cover up the hearts that I didn't want the paint to go through. That's a kind of a helpful tip so you just get the paint through the one that you want. So these are pink weevils and I'm just going to apply them with some lash glue. And there you have it, our completed look. Nice for date night. I think it would be great for any occasion, really. Love you all, and thanks for watching.